this is Bill McAfee. I'm the president of Empire Title Company here in Colorado Springs, Colorado. We're giving you the update for November from the Pike Speak Multiple Listing System. For you that have never seen me before, please, uh, I hope you enjoy this. For those of you that have seen me before, I have that five second filter on so when I cuss, it'll disappear. You won't even know I'm doing it. All right, we're going to get this show rolling. Bill the Snowman here getting you kicked off. This is from the Pike Speak Multiple Listing System. And just to let you know, we've had a phenomenal year through the end of November. Both average and medium price are up 5.4 and 4.6 respectfully. Residential units sold are up 31%. That's an amazing number. Inventory levels are down 11. Now, inventory levels basically are the demand over the last 12 months, so how much consumers are buying versus what's available. This is down. That's an amazing number when you see the number of units sold up. Even more amazing, the actual physical number of, of units available for sale is only up slightly, and we've sold 31% more through the end of November. Um, number of list, er, foreclosures are down 42%. That has tracked over since 2009. Those have been going down. Uh, average days on market, we are climbing right now. I have a little bit of concern on that. I'll hit that here in a minute. And why did the snowman divorce his wife? Why? She thought she was a flake. You guys stink. <laughs> All right. Active listings. We talked about this. Active listings were $36.79 during the month of November. More importantly, if you look at active listings, this is right here. They are at a 10-year low. It's totally amazing when you see the number of homes available at a 10-year low, and yet we, we sold 33, 31 more units, 31 percent more units than we did the year before. Number of sales, even though we dropped dramatically, 709 sales for November. Here's what the sales have been doing on a running average. So number of units available for sale way down, number of units selling way up. Number The inventory, which I explained early on, is only at about 4.08 months. If you actually look across here, there's only several months we've been that low, so we're going back clear to pre-2007 levels. Um, those were some very good real estate times. So just to let you know, again, the, de the demand is outpacing supply, in this case, in a big way. What did the police officer say when he saw the snowman stealing? What? Freeze! Oh! oh you guys are jerks. <laughs> All right, inventory levels. We've got inventory levels here. Um, now, here's what's amazing. I broke them down into different price ranges. Everything 250 and below is way under what it should be. When you start hitting 750,000, that's about twice the amount that should be there. Um, when you hit a million and above, we're about three times the amount. So what that's saying in the, in the upper end markets, we still got way too much inventory. In other words, way too many homes for the demand that's out there. You start hitting 300 below, 250 and below, it just drops off. Simply put, we do not have the homes to cover the demand over the last 12 months. Interest rates are still phenomenal. They are going up. One quick note on interest rates. Bernanke is saying again that they're going to stop buying the bonds. For, for in layman's term, what that means out there, last time he said that, rate, and they didn't even do it, rates jumped about six tenths of a percent. This time they are going to do it. We don't know what the effect on rates is going to be. The good news is it didn't jump like it did last time. Maybe some of that was priced in last time. But for you buyers, here's where rates are. By the way, that was 1981. I call that the finger year. If you had to borrow, that's what you got. So anyway, in looking through this stuff, where are rates likely to go for you buyers? And that brings me to one other thing. What do you call a snowman in the tropics? What? Lost. Oh. Why don't you guys come up here? Mules. <laughs> All right. Percent of sales by price. Uh, one thing that's happened this year is 250 and above actually has picked up. So our market has corrected somewhat uh, because if I go back one year, this would have been a 76-24 blend. Now 66% of the homes are selling below, 34% are selling above. So it's about a 10% swing. Um, my assistant is crawling on the floor like a small poodle right now, and it looks, it looks pretty funny. All right, look at this cash and financial transactions. No big surprises, but one thing we're going to talk about, a concern that I have, there's a thing called QM or QRM, which is Qualified Mortgage. That's going to hit January 10th of this year. Last month, 37% uh, of the loans were conventional. The month before that, it was 40%. If you are getting a conventional loan based on what QM is going to do, it could make it harder to get a loan because we know debt-to-income ratios are going to be higher. Moving on here, average sales price, 247932 That has been climbing the same slide on a running average. Median sales price, 220000 this again is on a running average because there was 06, 07. Here's where we are now. So you can see prices are climbing. We talked about that from the start based on low inventory, low, listing, low listings, and demand. 
Um, here's my concern, interest rates. I already talked about that one. Consumer confidence. This is something that I can tell you. When the interest rates jumped in June, July, we saw a slowdown then. We saw the government shut down, which caused even more stuff. We're rolling out with the new healthcare stuff. We're seeing concerns by the public. So we're not sure. Consumer demand is something that's totally emotional. It's kind of like the people that I'm telling these jokes to, even though they're really good, they're totally emotional and making them bad. What? Oh, yeah, there you go. Thanks. All right, what do you get when you cross a snowman with a vampire? What? Frostbite. No. Oh, no. no. That's deep. You can just help. Oh. Um, qualified mortgage is coming out, which is going to make it harder to get. So for you buyers out there, when QM hits, it's likely going to make it a little harder to get a loan. Um, with that coming, we got interest rates will likely go up because of the because of the reversal and the policy on the Fed. Um, so we're going to see that in 2015, we got new regulation that's going to likely make it more expensive to get a loan. So the one thing I would say to you, if you have the money, if you're stable and you can buy, I would definitely be in this market for you buyers. I got a feel we're going to look back on this time in history, and if you didn't buy, you're going to regret it. One thing that's critical is you get a hold of a professional real estate agent to help you navigate this market because it is really tricky depending on the price range that you're in. And uh, where do the uh, where does the snowman keep his money? Where? Where? In the snowbank. Oh. <laughs> really? Yeah. Here, I guess I can't do that on TV. Uh, one more thing. How does the snowman get to work? How? How? By his buy icicle. Oh. Hey! <laughs> Somebody yay! Somebody yay! I hope you have a, have a great Christmas and a fabulous New Year. And again, this is Bill McAfee. Thank you very much. Woo!